Hello and welcome to the third tutorial in my series on progressions and this time we're going to go over uh, advanced uh, song construction mode which is um, an extension really of the previous video so if you haven't seen the previous video on song mode uh, please go and watch that so essentially uh, song mode takes a subset of chords from your chord palette and pieces them together into a song chain um, which when played back uh, will play each chord in order with a specified duration now let's zoom in a bit and see what we've got here now in version 1.03 there's an expand button up here which uh, expands the song construction window to include a whole uh, bunch of new buttons now the first of these buttons is full song mode and that is where we display uh, the song chain that you've been used to seeing uh, in previous versions. Now the seven coloured tabs, uh, intro, verse, pre, chorus, post, uh, bridge and outro, they all are different song parts so we can construct individual uh, parts to our song that can be constructed just by dragging and dropping the chords from the chord pads uh, into that part. So the idea of song construction mode is to build up all these song parts and test them out uh, individually until you uh, are happy with the way they sound. And then once you've done that you can then take all these parts and piece them together into a, uh, a conductor uh, part which is kind of a an overview of your song now if I clear all the entries in this conductor part uh, I can show you here you can drag and drop these individual part buttons into the conductor lane to build up your song now it's important to mention that the conductor lane can actually be played back as such uh, unlike the verse chorus and so on which can be tested out and looped but what instead you long press the conductor button and it will ask whether you want to construct the uh, a full song chain and what it does it will expand that uh, schematic overview of your song uh, into a full uh, chord chain just as you had before now the obvious advantage with this is when you're working on a new song and uh, you want to extend a part of a song uh, and not affect everything else so in this case i can check the verse i can make a selection and copy that and paste it so the verse is now twice as long as it was and now all i need to do is long press the constructor button and uh, it will construct a new song with that verse in place as as eight parts long and the color coding now really helps uh, make various parts of the song stand out now in the latest version uh, we can also drag and drop the empty cell and insert or uh, overwrite um, uh, just by drag and drop and we can um, alter the length of that cell using the length buttons at the bottom here don't forget these cells are draggable so we can uh, drag them around just by tapping and holding in the header of the cell and the drag and drop makes it very easy to actually change the uh, the layout of your song and uh, add additional parts or move parts around now i just want to point out another change uh, if you uh, tap and hold on any of these chord pads in the chord window um, it will now play the um, the parts it won't just play a block chord it all if you tap and hold it will play that part in its entirety uh, so if we switch to arpeggiator mode you can preview the arpeggiator now or the strummer and the same thing goes for the uh, song sequencer window we can just tap in the header cell tap and hold of any of these uh, chords and it will preview them while we've got the, the button held down so the nice thing is if we've applied a style to a particular uh, a particular song cell it will switch all the styles and then start playing as, as it would if we played the, the entire song now we have uh, seven song parts here 
and uh, I know the predefined the names on the song pads but if you uh, long press on that particular pad when you're not in construction mode that is um, you can rename uh, rename it to whatever you like up to 10 characters and those uh, settings are saved along with the uh, with the song when you save a preset uh, they're not global so let's discuss um, the full song mode if I if I remove all the elements in here and then long press the add button to add all the chords from the chord palette I'm now able to select a bunch of these chords and then long press on the various part to assign colors to those parts so if you want to manually create everything as you did in a long chain and you're happy with that you can now apply uh, colors and, and that makes it very easy to tell a um, uh, to tell one part from another now one kind of hidden feature is that if you make a selection and long press full song it will remove the color so that's it in a nutshell uh, this uh, song construction mode was added to uh, supplement the old song mode uh, while keeping uh, every uh, project that you have intact so if any of that didn't make sense go and watch my original song mode video but that's it for now thanks for watching don't forget to thumb up and uh, and follow the channel and i'll see you next time